In Israel's bustling cities, cameras and sensors hum overhead, becoming eyes in the skies by unmanned aerial vehicles that in everyday life we call drones. These flying machines have multiple uses as UAVs transcend their original military purposes and make their mark on the civilian world. The first version of this new old system actually dates back more than a century when they were used in cunning proto-air raids. The first usage of uh, UAS was actually using uh, hot air balloons and it was in the end of the 19th century. So it's about 120 years ago. They took bombs, they hanged them on the hot air balloons with a timer and they just flew away and the timer released the bombs when they was approximately above uh, uh, the target. These new systems were put on display Wednesday in Tel Aviv at the UVID Drone Tech 2022 event staged by the Israel Defense Company. Unmanned aerial vehicles have changed the way traditional wars are fought. And just in the last three decades, UAVs or drones are transcending to other security bodies, governments and municipalities for different usages. UAVs are also on their way to have a significant impact on our daily lives. As you can see in, the, in Ukraine and uh, uh, before that in Nagorno-Karabakh in the con conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, the US, and the systems are very, very relevant. But it didn't start now. It started about 20, 30 years ago. It was relevant al already then. Um, I would say that uh, the UAV world had few revolutions. The first one is to convert from manned uh, platforms to unmanned. But the last 15 years or so, 10 years, um, the new revolution is everything smaller, everything more com compact and uh, much more efficient. The unmanned aerial vehicles, which have been rapidly developed within a military context, are now breaking the barriers to penetrate civilian life as well. We see that. We see uh, UAS are going into the civil world uh, to do some uh, civil uh, missions. Uh, aeronautics, uh, as an example, has uh, UAVs that are taking care of uh, uh, illegal uh, fishing. So that's a civil mission. It, it has nothing to do with the military. In these first tentative steps, UAVs are being adapted for use by cities to improve their municipal services. Aerobotics is uh, developing drones, automated drones, and now we're focusing on uh, developing infrastructures. Uh, it means that we're deploying just infrastructures in cities that allowing cities to uh, launch drones in, uh, automatically uh, and to send them into various missions. This developing field is also helping to strengthen commercial ties between new partners in peace post Abram Accords. For the first time an Israeli company, Aerobotics, is deploying its systems to the UAE. And actually today we announced uh, that we're going to deploy first uh, municipal uh, infrastructure in the UAE, which is very exciting. Even in Israeli high schools, some students are in a special program that equips them to succeed specifically in this industry, making this even more relevant for younger generations. We funded a program called Blades for students in 11th and 12th grades in the periphery whose objective is to teach them about the world of drones, aeronautics, mechatronics, electronics and software. And now we will never look at the skies in the same way as we navigate city life. As you can see here, there are relatively very simple capabilities that lift the camera and the sensor into the sky and from the aerial dimension open a whole world of uses to meet the needs of the municipal space. From Tel Aviv, Debbie Momblet reporting for the Media Line.